an emotional six days. The totality of what has happened has not yet set in for so many of us. We have seen the most destructive fire in California's history in our small town of Paradise, and it is far from over. This fire has taken the lives of your friends, your loved ones, our neighbors. It destroyed a town that stood strong for decades. And tonight we want to take a look back at the past few days a look at just how awful a tragedy can be. A glimpse of how human kindness and love rise from the ashes and how together we can all care for camp. You could hear the sound of the wind. You could hear the sound of the fire. We're okay, we just gotta go. I slept in that car with the dogs and she slept in that car with her mom. That's the worst thing that I have ever felt. Paradise is gone. Did. I did not think we were going to live. I want to end this with all of the glimmers of hope that I've seen throughout. We are strong, we're resilient. We, when, when things are at their worst is when we are at our best and we will get through this together. This fire brought a lot of people back together, you guys. We are following breaking news in Butte County at this hour. The campfire has prompted evacuations for all of the town of Paradise and the community of Polga. This is a fast developing fire. The fire has burned at minimum 1,000 acres, but that was the estimate that firefighters gave us about an hour ago. This fire has blown up in the last 60 minutes. This picture of the campfire was taken about an hour ago. And this is video that was taken from Chico. You see that huge smoke plume. And again, this was from an hour ago. The smoke plume visible from Chico. Chico is about 25 miles away from where this fire started. And it has grown and grown and grown. Now we want to pass along the full list of evacuations so you can stay safe. It started near Polga. The community of Polga has been evacuated. That's along Highway 70 in Butte County. And in the last few minutes, we've learned additional evacuations have been ordered for the entire town of Paradise. That community, some 20,000 people. And again, the fire has burned at minimum 1,000 acres, but I'm not even gonna mention that estimate anymore because I have a suspicion it is has grown and grown far beyond 1,000 acres. There is no word on any containment now here's a look at where the fire is burning. It is called the campfire. We're gonna map it out. It is burned near the community of Polga. That's where it started around 6.30 this morning. And Cal Fire is requesting resources from across the state. It has started near Highway 70 and Campfire Road. And that proximity to Campfire Road is why it has been dubbed the campfire. Orders have been issued again, evacuation orders for Polga and the entire town of Paradise. Part of Highway 70 is also closed. Now, reporter Megan Mackey is following the fire this morning. She is on the phone. And Megan, you are in Paradise, and it sounds like a dire situation. What are you seeing there? 
Canyon View Drive, and cars are just bumper to bumper trying to get out. I hear there's only one exit uh, from this area in the flames. I'm actually right near Adventist Health Feather River Medical Center, and I'm told that they evacuated this hospital about 40 minutes ago, um, and there is an IT building on fire right next door. So people are just trying to get out. Um, lots of traffic here, and the flames, um, from what I can see, are moving very quickly. So describe again, there is a building you've actually seen on fire right next to Feather River Hospital. So for the people watching, this is important information because they know how near or far they are from that hospital. It was a building immediately next It was to immediately the off of 10th Road near Canyon View in the hospital. And a doctor came outside and told me that was the IT building to the hospital. So I see firefighters over there trying to put out the flames, but um, it is surrounding uh, the area there and um, it lit the, the building on fire. So I know that firefighters are trying as hard as they can right now to prevent it from uh, moving and progressing any further into uh, the main hospital center, which is where the emergency room is and the cancer center, um, from what I can tell. And just, you can't see this, but we are showing the video you sent in a few minutes ago. These look like huge flames, Megan. What would you estimate the size of these flames? This is the campus of Feather River Hospital. Um, I would estimate them um, near 12 and 15 feet, Kelly. At, at this moment, it's actually it's pitch black outside because the smoke is so thick. I'm actually sitting in my car. That's how thick the smoke is. And it's just, you can't even see any peep of daylight. I mean, people have their headlights on. Um, it's just red and it's a dark sky. So um, very high flames. The smoke is extremely thick. Um, and people definitely trying to get out of here as fast as they can. Whatever happens, I want you to stay safe. So if you need to hang up the phone, by all means, hang up the phone and drive away. Okay, if that happens, I want to be clear. <laughs> but you are Thank providing you important information to people. So they have set up these evacuation zones in Butte County after recent fires and flooding. Okay, so, and, and people are supposed to know where to go. What is the traffic situation? What are you seeing in terms of are people able to get out? Uh, people, are, I've been sitting at the, uh, the stop sign on Canyon View Drive for about five to ten minutes, and it has just been at a standstill. No one has been able to get out. I believe, I'm, I'm not sure which way the strips are moving, if it's west or east. Um, I heard that they sh that Pence Road might be shut down near Highway 70, but there's just lines and lines of cars. Um, and like I said, it hasn't moved, and I've been in the same spot for about... 20 minutes and I haven't seen a single car move. Um, even emergency vehicles are sitting here stopped their lights on um, because the traffic is just jam packed uh, going both ways. So really people are, there's no real way for people to get out at this moment. I hear that people are coming from both sides of Pence Road and it's kind of blocking uh, the one road people can take to get out. And again, give your location again, uh, just so we can orient people it who are just joining us. Canyon View Drive in Pence Road, right next to the Adventist Health Feather River Medical Center. And we are again showing that video you sent in from the campus of Feather River Hospital, what appears to be huge flames. Describe again, what is the air quality like? And it looks in your video like it's almost dusk. It is so dark in your video there. Yeah, it, it looks like it is, you know, eight o'clock at night. It is extremely dark outside. The, the plumes of smoke are extremely thick. Um, just red and red and orange and black plumes of smoke uh, hitting the air. I mean, as soon as I turned on the Pence Road um, back when I was leaving from Chico this morning, I mean, it, it just kept getting darker and darker and darker as I progressed uh, forward towards this area. So um, right now I'm even seeing people getting out of their cars, going up to emergency vehicles, asking, you know, how are they going to get out? Um, and fire trucks are even going you know, on the opposite side of the road, of this two-lane road, trying to get past all of these people just so that they can get uh, right next to the fire. I mean, it's an extremely serious situation. And I've even seen several trailers, people loading up their trailers as I was nearing this area, just trying to get everything in there as quickly as possible just to get out of this area and um, flee their homes. So very serious situation. It seems like it happened all so quickly and people didn't have a lot of time to prepare before this happened. Now, I know you saw that one building on the campus of Feather River Hospital, the IT building that's on fire. What's the status with the hospital itself? Now, you said evacuation started about 45 minutes ago? 
Um, I believe the evacuation started about 45 minutes ago. I'm still sitting next to the hospital because that's how bad the traffic is getting out of here. And um, that the hospital, the main building appears to be fine, but the IT building, like I said, it looks like it's still on fire, but fire crews are still there trying to put out the fire. And trees around that area actually have started to catch flames. So I know they're trying to put those out as well so the fire doesn't spread um, more west. But um, that building, they appear to be still trying to contain the flames over there, but it has not quite reached the main medical center, to my understanding. So are you seeing them taking patients out and evacuating patients at this point? I did. When I drove by, I saw a few ambulances, um, but I, I'm told that they started evacuating patients to Enlo about 40 minutes ago. Let's check in with reporter Courtney Kreider. She has been at one of the most active spots of the fire all morning. She is joining us now live. Courtney. Jennifer, I'm just getting some more service so I can get you this information, but we have a bit of breaking news. We have 15 to 20 people that are trapped there off of Big Bend Road and Highway 70. Now, I went with CAL FIRE trying to get to this area so we could see where these residents are, these families that are trapped over in this area, and the flames and power lines are keeping anyone from getting into them. So I am told they're being rescued. They're having a helicopter, a CHP helicopter coming in, and they're going to airlift these families out. But it's 15 to 20 people on Big Bend Road. And then there's also 20 people that are trapped in Concow. One, an elderly man with a, uh, an immediate medical condition. And so that's about, I mean, just under 50 people that are still in this area that have not been able to evacuate. We've also had eight fire engines over here that were also on Big Bend Road. They went there last night to perform structure protection and also to get any of these other families out. And now they're trapped there as well. I'm told they're in a safe, sp safe space as well as these families. They're um, bunkering down kind of in a field area and that is where the CHP will be airlifting them out. But as of now, that's kind of um, the dynamics over here. I'm gonna show you a little bit of this hillside and what we're dealing with as far as this fire weather and everything has been changing. So this is on Highway 70. And earlier when I went up this highway, you could see we actually drove through active fire and then now it's just on the hillside, but we've driven back and forth through this area three different times and every time it's been different. So it's mainly been dark like you're seeing here where it looks like night, but it, this is probably medium compared to what it was earlier where it was just pitch black and you could see just the red glow of the embers and flames growing across there. So here's where we've got some fire engines and you can see that active fire burning on the hillside. But then I'm gonna turn it around this way. We've also got fire over here. And then just, let's see, north of me, this is where some hill attack crews, they're actually working and constantly dropping loads of water in this area because they're just dealing with multiple of these ridge lines that keep going off and they're really trying to get a hold on this fire over here they're doing several structure protections here's an ambulance coming actually this also was just ordered this is some other news that we're just getting in we're not sure exactly who needs the medical attention or what the injury is but this was ordered just about 15 minutes ago in the Concow area as well. So we'll continue to update you on that, but that's the information I have as far as those people that are still in this area.